Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Walden from maggiescrochet.com and every once in a while in crochet there are these defining moments and I really think that this board is one of them. This is so beautiful. I just love this. I've just been walking it around the office and this is to introduce a series of flower videos that we're doing here on YouTube and we're going to do videos on every single one of these flowers and then there's going to be several other flowers also and most of these were done with worsted weight yarn and all different um, brands of yarn were used for this and um, i just think it's really beautiful look at this and so you could it's a great way to use up scraps and this one flower down at the bottom, the, let me see, I got to go this way. The pink one here, it, I made it big enough so you could actually put like a little uh, votive candle in the middle. And you could use these like for, to decorate scarves or hats or um, just anything, placements, anything. I just love these things. So anyway, well, I'm, we're going to take you to a close-up lesson and Christina is going to show you how to make the flowers. And please, please, please subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos because it really helps us out a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey guys, it's Christina from maggiescrochet.com and today I'm showing you how to make this beautiful, fun little daffodil. Uh, this is an easy skill project. It's about four inches across and about one inch tall. Now I use three different colors of yarn for this um, and in the Deborah Norville Everyday Worsted Weight yarn, which is what I used, the colors are baby yellow, lemon and bittersweet is this kind of orange um, so those are the colors that i used for this you also need a size i9 hook and then of course some scissors and uh, a yarn needle to weave in all your ends all right let's get started beginning with your baby yellow or your lightest color you'll chain four and then join with a slip stitch to form a ring so once you've got those four chain stitches take your hook you're going to insert it into the chain nearest the slip knot or furthest from your hook. Pull a loop through there and then pull that same loop through the loop already on your hook. And that creates this lovely little ring that we can now work into. So we're going to, this is round one, we'll chain three. Now when we chain three like this, we usually count it as a double crochet. And that is what we're doing now. So that's one double crochet. And then we're going to do 11 more in the center of the ring for a total of 12. So you'll yarn over, go right down there into the center of your ring, pull your loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this counts as two double crochets, and I want to get a total of 12. So I'm going to do that, and I'll come back and show you the next round. So here are my 12 double crochet stitches. I'm just going to join this with a slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet, which remember is actually your chain three. So just take your hook, go into the top, chain there, grab a loop, pull it through, pull through the same loop on your hook, and that's the end of round one. For round two, you want to slip stitch in between the next two double crochets. So that's between your chain three and your first double crochet right here. Just go right in between them, not working into the stitch, just going in between the posts there. Slip stitch, chain two, and skip the next two double crochets, and slip stitch. So we're going to keep slip stitching every two double crochets. So skip those two slip stitch before the next one. So when I get all the way around, I should have six of these little chain two spaces. And that's what I'll work it into on the following round. So I'm gonna finish doing this around. Once I get back to the beginning, I can join it with a slip stitch and then finish off my baby yellow. So I'll come back when I've done that and we'll move on to the next round and the next color. So this is the center of our flower, and as you can see, I've got these little chain two spaces all the way around. And next you'll wanna take your lemon, that's your bright, bright yellow, on your hook, same uh, size eye hook, 
and we're going to join uh, with a slip stitch to any of the slip stitches from the previous round. So see there's a chain two space and then right there is a slip stitch. So we'll just go under those loops there, grab a loop, pull it through, and pull that same loop through the loop already on the hook. From here, we're going to work the following stitches all into this chain two space. We'll start with a single crochet, so just go under that chain. Don't worry about trying to get in the middle of it, just go right under it and work completely around it. You'll do a single crochet, a double crochet, so you'll yarn over, under the chain, pull loop through, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, then we're going to do two triple crochets. That's very similar to a double, but you'll start by yarning over twice, then go down into your stitch, pull a loop through. Now you've got four loops on your hook, so pull through two of those, pull through two, and then pull through two. It makes just a little bit of a taller stitch. So do that again. Then we're going to chain one, and then we're going to do that in reverse order. So two triples. You might hear some people call them triples. You might hear some people call them trebles. It's the same stitch. Oop, almost started to do a double. I got to do another triple. I grew up, my grandma always called them triples. So that's what I'll usually call them in the video unless I'm thinking about it. So there's the, uh, the two triples or trebles. Then we'll do a double and then a single. All of that worked into the same chain two space. See how we work just right around that chain two space. And then we'll slip stitch in the top of the slip stitch. So that's right here. Made my slip stitches just a little tight. There we go. And then we'll repeat that all the way around. So I'll work that same full set of stitches into this chain two space. So when I'm finished, I should have six petals. And at that point, I'll go ahead and weave in my ends uh, cut my yarn, weave in my ends, because we'll make the cup separately. Um, well, we'll work the cup uh, into the beginning of this, but we'll need to start from a fresh piece of yarn. So I'm going to finish making my six petals, and then I'm going to finish off my lemon. Now I have all my petals and my ends are woven in. I'm ready to start working on the cup. Now the cup is worked directly to this part of the flower. You'll get your uh, lemon yarn back on your hook. And then um, working into this baby yellow section. Remember, we didn't actually work into the top of the double crochets. We worked slip stitches in between them and then chain stitches over them, but we didn't actually work into the double crochet. So now we are. So with your uh, hook, go just into the front loop of any of those double crochets, just like that, and we'll join with a single crochet. So you'll pull a loop through and then pull a loop through both of those loops on your hook. And then still working only in those front loops, we're going to single crochet in the top of each double crochet around. And we had 12 double crochets. So we should end up with 12 single crochets. And I'll just kind of pop up a little ridge like that as we go around. So I'm going to pick those all up. Like I said, when I've got 12, back here around at the end. I'll come back and show you how to continue. So here I've got 12 single crochets and now I'm just going to join these together with a slip stitch. Great. Uh, round five, it's the second round of the cup, but round five in total. Chain one and then working in both loops, so you can work in uh, both loops of the top of your stitch. You're going to single crochet in the same stitches joining, so that's this one right here and then single crochet in the next single crochet and do that all the way around um, joining when we reach the beginning and we should still have 12 single crochets at that point. Uh, when you get back around to the beginning and after you join your round you can go ahead and finish off the lemon color and we'll do our last and final round in the kind of orangey bittersweet color. So I'm going to do that. I'll go ahead and weave in my ends and I'll come back and show you how to finish this off. All right, we're almost done with our daffodil. For our last and final round, take your bittersweet, that's your kind of orangey color. We're going to join this with a slip stitch to any single crochet. So just go 
uh, under both loops there, pull a loop through, and pull that same loop through the first loop on your hook. From here, you will repeat the following around, chain two, slip stitch in the next stitch. And then just repeat that, chain two, slip stitch in the next stitch. And then once you get back around to the beginning, of course you'll fasten it off, weave in your ends, and then you will have a completed daffodil. Looking something kind of like this. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And you will find in the description the pattern, the materials, everything you'll need for this project. Thanks for watching. So I'm going from this side to that side and I'm going to pick up my yarn and draw that up and then finish my double crochet like So if you do, let's say I've seen scarves made with only pulling five loops through and they look amazing. They're really cute. They come out.